What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Kills, and welcome to episode 9 of my Elden Ring Let's Play series. Thank you for tuning in, and please remember to like and subscribe. Here's a quick update on my character. I'm level 36 now. I recently invested a point into Dexterity, and I also invested points into Faith. The reason I'm investing in Faith is because I want to be able to access the first power that you'll be able to get at the Church of Dragon Communion, which I believe I need 13 faith to unlock it, as well as a Dragon Heart, which I've gotten by slaying a Dragon Boss that spawns nearby at the beginning of the game over here in this lake. Now, this sword I am holding is called Bloodhound's Fang. This is a very cool sword. It has cool combos and a cool special attack that's very useful. That You will see this in action in this video. Now that's enough blabbering. It's time to get to this fun. Now let's go kill this bow and arrow motherfucker. It's like the moment I enter this region, he just starts firing. Wow, he can hit. I love this special attack. Look how it just takes me away. Separates me from my target. I didn't get nothing from this. That's a shame. He was easy to slay. Alright, let's do some quick exploration around here before we enter this castle. Oh man, this is going to be so much fun. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance. Only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. I don't understand exactly what are these for. Is it only for storytelling? Red jellyfishes. Does it mean... Does this mean that they're hostile? Let's go and find out. They gotta be hostile. Yup. It was just materials here. What? Oh my god! It's a death bird! Can't get hit no more. One more hit. No! You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna take him on again, man. I mean, I ain't afraid of that fucker. I might take him on on foot, too. I think it'll just be easier to do that. What's up? Where is it? Are you kidding me? Maybe it shows up at a different time of day. Let's give Nightfall a shot. And if and if it still doesn't appear, man, I'm just gonna head into the castle already. It appeared. Maybe I shouldn't fight this on foot.
Whoa. Get up. Got him. Son of a bitch. What I get? Sacrificial axe. I was not expecting that. And this is how it looks like. One handed. Two handed. Let's test it out with these bats. Every time I kill something, you better see in a second. You saw that? I don't know what that blue thing was. This axe looks so cool. I think I'm going to use it for this video over my Bloodhound Fang. It feels so Viking. <laughs> Nine episodes in, and I'm finally going to step foot inside of a castle. Let's see what we find ourselves. I see a bunch of useful stuff in this room, but there's nothing to loot from. Why can't I loot anything in this armory? Wow, that was a very long ascension. I gotta take all of these out. Let's go and take these motherfuckers out. Oh, great. I gotta pick up my runes in the middle of all this shit. I gotta pick up those runes. I can't use my horse in here, of course. That wasn't so bad. I'm getting better at taking out groups. Now we got that guy up ahead. I'm definitely sneaking up on that one. It's another one of these motherfuckers. Oh, that was close. It's another one of those mad pumpkin heads. Only this time it wasn't a boss. That was scary. Poor guy. What a way to die. And I just realized I'm standing on the mountain of corpses. Holy shit. Yeah, this game is definitely not for kids. Yes, just what I needed. Nice. Another good find. I'm assuming these things are called oozes. Just like in Dungeons and Dragons. Twin Blade Talisman. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. I cannot mess this up. I needed that. It's 
See, I'm worried that I'm not standing on top of this, but I'm going to jump off anyways. Oh, that was close. Start fighting these. What is up with this guy? A whip. This game has a whip. I think I think that move is what makes the whip worth it. I think the light attack is trash though. It just has some decent range. But it's the heavy attack. It's the heavy attack for me that makes this somewhat useful. It has really good range. Everything in front of you gets hit by it. Oh man, I'm scared to see what's up ahead. I only got three flasks. Let's go and check it out. Leonin misbegotten. Oh. Whoa. I had a feeling I was going to die there. I'm going to get him on my second try. You'll see. He's not that hard. Just got to time those rolls a lot better. All right. Attempt number two. Here we go. First things first, I am picking up those runes. Thank God I healed up just in time. Gonna heal up again. One more hit. And that is why I love this sword. Ooh! I just got me a grafted blade greatsword. And it's a legendary item. I could tell by its color. It's yellow. And I believe that indicates legendary like in every typical RPG game. My timing just couldn't have been more impeccable. Can it? After I just said I love this sword, I was gifted possibly a better sword. <laughs> I love this game, man. I can't say it enough, man. I really love this game. Let's check out its stats. I have a good I have a good feeling I won't be able to use it just yet. Yup, there's an X on it. I need 40 strength. But let's check it out anyways. Oh my god, that looks crazy. This sword is giving me Game of Thrones vibes. It reminds me of the throne made out of blades. Well, now I have a blade made out of blades. So just look at the camera when I use this. You could just feel its impact just by how that camera is shaking. This was a good find. All right, back into Castle Morn.
An NPC? What you doing over here? That's gonna come in handy. So I don't drop no runes. Now then away with you. You no reason to risk your neck. Oh yeah, I do, man. I came in for treasure. I just discovered a ladder that I've missed before. Let's see what's up here. Whoa. That's a dope special. I really want that soldier's shield. They will not drop for shit. A steel wire torch. Awesome. And this is how it looks. That's pretty cool. So you can also find upgraded torches. I believe that is everything for Castle Moor. I've cleared out everything. Killed every enemy in here. I believe I looted everything here. I haven't missed a single item. And I took out that boss earlier in the video. It was fun. I found me a lot of useful items. That was a fun boss fight. I, I was expecting more, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be... a very tough ass boss like an ultimate boss but I was wrong anyhow it was still fun I hope you guys enjoyed the content please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in episode 10 peace out